In less than 24 hours, this small coastal community will be hit by the biggest winter storm surge this country has seen in 60 years. The Lake on Arms is the headquarters for the local volunteers and today they meet for one last attempt at shoring up the sea defences. I'm Katie, I come from Hemsby. Um, I'm here to help, to just to support everybody. We live in Hemsby, we've been here around about 30 years, 36 years and uh, we're just uh, like to help in the community. We so said we'd help making teas or whatever. So we just come down here to support the village, which we always do. Pressure Around that, some very strong winds swirling, and independent of them both, you also need some very high tides around the coast, and that's what's been occurring. On Thursdays, deep air flow pressure passes to the north of the UK in the direction of Norway. Now, low pressure systems... It's around the centre of the low pressure system where the air is rising greater, so you get a bulge forming. This is a way you then get very strong winds pushing that bulge in the direction of the coast. Um, I've come down here to help out, shore up, in the hope that the dooms don't collapse in the next couple of years. <laughs> I thought I retired a few years ago and decided to come down here. Nice air by the coast, bought a bundle up there. I didn't really understand anything about coastal erosion at the time. It's nice to see everybody pulling together and uh, hopefully we can do something to improve the situation. What should be done about coastal erosion is the government should be stepping in to help save all these communities, all these businesses, all these families, all these homes. There should be central funding in order to preserve and protect. Hi, I'm Lorna Bevan Thompson. I've lived in Hemsby for 36 years, but we've been trading in Hemsby all that time for 36 years from my parents to me. Yeah, we've lost two, two dune systems in my lifetime here. We used to have three dunes before you got to the sea. We're down to our last remaining one and we lost 30 foot of that this winter. We lost one home about six weeks ago. He's had to be evacuated. There's 20 more that are threatened this winter. So they're permanent homes. They may not be you know, the expensive London homes, but they are people's homes, they are their palaces, they're paying their rates, and yet people are willing to just let them drop into the sea. Well, if we don't get some better assistance, we will lose our coastline as it exists at the moment. If it's a northeasterly, we will have to pray, hold our fingers crossed, toes crossed. The water has risen too high for the workers to carry on, and all they can do now is look on and hope that their hard work has paid off. The waves are cutting away at the foundations of the lifeboat station. Finally, it succumbs, and the building is washed away. Desk, David Webster. Five families are without homes in Hemsby after they were lost to the sea in last night's storms. The lifeboat station has been swept away and three more houses are balanced on a cliff edge. Despite the setback of the last 24 hours, 
the local residents of Hemsby had determined to continue their fight against the cruel, relentless sea. <laughs>